do you consider yourself to be? However you define yourself, such determines what you regard as real. What do you consider yourself to be? That you exist is self-evident. What else do you consider yourself to be? That existence always knows itself with a knowledge that is neither perceptual nor conceptual is also self-evident. Self-knowledge, therefore, can be said to be quite natural, innate. That existence is unformed, without birth, and consequently imperishable. It is, then, not a body, not a mind indeed not individualized at all. That is, there is no sense of an ego to it. But what do you consider yourself to be? According to the identification, the definition appended to the self, so appear various kinds of limitations or bondage. Consequent to bondage is suffering, which is unnatural for anyone. Being unnatural, living beings naturally desire happiness. The happiness is innate, just as the existence is. One's own nature is Satchitananda, being consciousness bliss. One's own nature is the absolute, the reality itself. What do you regard as real? What do you consider yourself to be? Do you know yourself? If you do not know yourself, that is, in your experience, there seems to be something else besides illimitable being, infinite consciousness, innate uncaused bliss. There seems to be something else. Then, as the Maharshi advises, you should inquire as to who it is that does not know the self. That is, are there two of you? The self which truly exists and another? The self that truly exists is eternal and infinite, formless without conditions and utterly immutable. If there is someone who says, I don't know this, or I partially know this, but partially don't know this, or yes, but my experience is also something else, something dualistic, something formed, then who is that someone What is the nature of that someone? If such an inquiry would be made, your own continuous experience would be of only one solitary self. The very same that has been declared in various scriptures to be Brahman or God. Looked at from another angle of vision. 
do you regard what is objective to you as if it were you? Your body and your senses are objective to you. Do you regard them as you? As if you were embodied? Or you're some kind of sensing entity? What do you consider yourself to be? Do you regard your thoughts as definitions for who you are? Or do you recognize that you are the unknown knower of all the thoughts that are known? To regard yourself as a mind, thought, or as a body is to superimpose false definition, illusion, upon the reality of your own existence. All the while, your being, yourself, remains just as it is. For what is real is utterly changeless. Sri Bhagavan said that where I rises, everything else rises. When I subsides, everything else subsides. Therefore, for the knowledge of reality, for realization of the Absolute, one should abide in the eyeless state. Eyelessness is peace. And it is true. The question is how to become eyeless. Well, you don't really become eyeless. You find the knowledge within yourself that your existence is always eyeless. Self knowledge reveals, it does not produce. The real self need not begin anew. It is already existing. And when you know it as it is, by a deep inquiry as to who you are, then detached from all, yours is innate bliss. Transcendent of thought, yours is infinite consciousness. with no imagined definitions to bind you, your state is that of pure being, not becoming this or that, but just being, which is neither a thing nor an activity, but just what you are. To be absorbed in what has just been indicated, simply and deeply inquire within yourself as to what your true nature is.